here. Brooklyn. Ooh. Look, I used to play the game like I'm in the field. And still live my life like I'm Uncle Phil. I been about the dollar, so I chase the bills. The world is going nuts, Bible be the pill. And sometimes I contemplate an overdose. I rather die on righteousness, can't speak for most. I still remember nights sleeping with the toast. Plus the bar was always nasty, had it screaming gross. The Lord always had me when I was seeing ghosts. Repent or die, mama, can't you see the growth? My people need a savior, I just give them hope. And watch them from their sins, Christ be the soul. Baby, uh huh. Yeah, repent and die, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, repent and die, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Repent and die, baby. Uh huh. What it do, y'all? It's your brother, man, from the motherland coming to you guys live from the NY. Back with another one of that Repent and Die podcast. For those that don't know who I am, I'm Jones, the original for the Bantus. By blood, not by converge. You know I'm out here to splurge, splurge with the what? With the word. <laughs> Want to give all praise and glory to our ancestors for they are worthy to be praised. <laughs> shout out to all those that's been tuning in subscribing 30k man all of this would not be what it is if it wasn't for you guys so of course i gotta give a shout out to you or nothing but love round of applause for that thank you thank you Yeah, man, it, it, it's been a minute. Uh, I haven't recorded. I think it, it feels like two weeks. Haven't been recording. Um, you know, dealing with situations. Um, and 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 just having the mental fatigue, man. The mental fatigue is real. Um, sometimes you get exhausted. Sometimes you get tired. Like even now, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still tired. Um, you know, changing my, my, my lifestyle as far as, you know, stop doing certain things. Um, Friday was my mother's birthday. So, of course, you know what I'm saying, we had to come out and, you know, you know, show her that she's very appreciative. Um, she loved it. Um, she sent me a well, you know, heartfelt text and you know it means a lot to me especially being her oldest son and um knowing what i put her through in my life you know what i'm saying like I, I put my mom through a lot facts you know what i'm saying without a shot of a doubt um but that's neither here nor there man you know i'm back i'm here we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep the ball rolling we're gonna keep the momentum you know running we ain't we ain't playing um the goal is if there's 7.5 billion people on this earth then i need to be with the 7.5 billion people on this earth right we're not selling in for 100,000 subscribers we we want to go into the billions you feel me that's the mentality and hopefully if it be the father's will that job will get done right so before we get into it, got to give you guys the hood news. You know, the hood news ain't never changed. Ain't no sunshine where we from. Mm, mm, mm. Only darkness every day. You feel me? No sunshine. We out here wilding. We out here wilding. Our lives is being taken instantly. My man just got murdered. Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Gotti. I'm disappointed in you, Gotti. You understand? Um, you know, when I when I had my rant about it, I was highly upset, but you know, gathering the information, you know, you 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 was at fault, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And I don't wish death on no man. And nobody should, nobody's life should be taken, especially for senselessness. But at the same time, I understand that if you are a body that's being useless on this earth and you're not finding a purpose, in layman's terms, God's going to take you out. But I'll have a conversation about that another time. On today's topic and conversation <laughs> and shout out and shout out to my sis Laura man um you know very childhood friend she we 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 go back and forth through the DMs you know voice notes text whatever and um she said something to me that just stuck out she said today's dating pool is filled with piss ooh we got to talk about that she said today's dating pool is filled with piss she said well now i want to say she said we was going back and forth and i was basically letting her know that the mentality that these europeans have made black women to embrace and follow is borderline. Listen to what I'm about to say. Is borderline prostitution. Yes. When you see that our women do not desire the things that a woman should be desiring like marriage family children unity when you see that that's no longer the ideal preference for a woman it lets you know the state that we are in as a nation oh yes when she said that the dating pool is filled with piss I said wow is it really I haven't been on the dating scene in years so I don't know but from what I see through social media from what I heard from the brother that if you didn't um, um, tune into the podcast very informal and this is a 30 year old man speaking now based on his experience right when I see what's being displayed on social media, when I see what's being played on the radio, all I can do as a black man is put my head down and shake it. I shake my head in disgust. I shake my head in concern. I shake my head in fear because I have children that will one day have to become an adult and have to deal with the foolishness. My brother that I had on the podcast said, it is estimated by 2030, there will be no more marriages within the black community. And when you sit back and you look, we're not desiring marriage. Women is only dating men because of what men is able to give them. And I'm talking about give them like items, not protection, not security, not, 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 not a warrior. No, they don't want that. They want material. Our sisters will now go travel to other countries to give head just so she can lay her face on a Dubai bed spread her ass just so she can get some cash give herself up to the very exact people that put shackles on her ancestors necks killed butchered murdered raped and will do all of that for a bag 
would demoralize themselves for some tickets to a concert for they could have access to a backstage and then have access to the wild celebrity parties that I advise no woman to partake in because if you go in there as an innocent soul, you will come out that joint a full-fledged monster. Yes. How did we get here? How did relationships, excuse me, let me take that back. How did the dating scene become a pool filled with piss? What are we dating for? What is your purpose even talking to the opposite? Are you just in there to slap? Are you in there to just get some money so you can pay your car note, your car insurance, your rent? I don't know. But as a black man sitting back and watching this man, it's really not looking good for us. It's really not looking good for us as a whole. Because if it's bad now and the parents are the one who are the founding father of this foolishness let's just keep it simple what are you passing down to your children I watched Labor Day here in New York I watched Labor Day I didn't partake I didn't go I didn't do none of that but I watched the aftermath of Labor Days and seeing our women literally walking around with absolutely nothing on to the point where my daughter was saying what the heck is going on here dad and here I am being a father having to explain and said this is what happens when you allow individuals to influence you this is what happens when you are disobedient to God. This is what happens when you have been discontinued from that heritage. People really think Labor Day is a heritage. No, fam. Labor Day is not a heritage. Labor Day is a satanic ritual that these heathens, the, the people that oppress you, make sure you partake in. So it's a confirmation to let them know they still got you under their control nobody ever asks why labor day takes place on eastern parkway and not on flatbush not in areas that's predominantly black why is it on eastern parkway because the people that put the shackles on your neck would like to sit there and see their work unfold manifest they like to make sure they like to see that you are still under the hypnosis that's why. Yes, claim your prison complex. Represent your facility where you come from. But I digress. But seeing how my women are outside, seeing how men automatically want sex, right? Like I tell a sister, if I came outside dressing like a cop, and whether I'm a cop or not, if, I, if you see me with a police uniform on, by default, you're going to assume that I am a police officer. So when brothers see sisters come outside with nothing on, by default, he's going to assume that you ain't nothing but a daddy McMuffin, a, 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 a poom poom lover, a poom poom giver, and a dick sucker. Part of my language. But this is what, this is what a man is going to see. And the sad thing is, these women that come outside dressed like this also have a high a, a barrier, a, a, a gate that they don't want. Oh, no, no, no. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Don't. And it's like, don't touch you. I mean, you put on clothes to be touched. Th this is a fact. This is a fact. You can't dress like a prostitute and don't think that you're gonna get you're not gonna get prostitute attention. You know when a prostitute walk the beat, the man drive by, hey yo, coo, 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 coo. and she proceeds and she comes to the car. But now y'all women, y'all don't come to the car unless it's the type of car that you like. 
See, you see what they have done to our sisters? Our sisters now determine her relationship with you based on what you have. Where are we going? Ask yourself this question, mama. Has it benefit you? What's the end goal behind all this? Because you're not going to be young forever. You will get older. And some of y'all is having children. And what are you going to teach your children? Are you going to tell your child to continue this cycle? Because if the, if the dating pool is filled with piss now, the dating pool in the next 15, 20 years is going to be filled with doo-doo. Because all of all of y'all is walking around with fake asses. Somebody need to sit down and take a dump. And it, the dump is going to happen in the dating scene. Yes. If it's piss now, it will be doo-doo later. And if nobody ain't seen this and if nobody ain't, 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 ain't in a space where, you know, we got to correct this, we're doomed. I tell both my daughters, I told them the same thing. I said, listen, I know society promotes black women showing off their bodies and all of that. I know that they do that. I know putting on tight dresses and, you know, you know, you guys got beautiful bodies and this is what they're promoting. But I want you to know something. The people that's running the world, women never dress like that. Let me say that again. The people that's running the world, women never dress like that. So the question that I ask is, are you to tell me that the people that's running the world is better than you? They are in a position through robbery and murder. You was born when the earth was created, the dominion was given unto you. God refers to his daughters as rubies, virtuous, precious rubies, that gold, diamonds can even can can never match up to. But these evil ones have taught you to be nothing more than a sex object so when I tell my daughters this I said the people that's running the world you see the Chinese you see how they daughters you see how they dress yeah they be into the little foolishness yeah they, they'll get a, they'll put on a little tight little they don't have no body so then putting on those type of outfits really not doing nothing. It's really not going to make a Chinese man say, oh, hang, hi, wow. It's not going to say that. You understand? When you see a, when you see an Arab woman, she's fully covered. It'd be 900.9 degrees, fully covered. Some of them goes as far as taking a veil to cover their whole face. All you see is their eyes. And last but not least, when you see the Jewish people, because yes, I saved them for last because they the ones that runs social media. They the ones that own your network channels, your network stations, your radio stations. They own it. They own the distribution. They own it all. And you see what they promote for you. But you see what they don't promote for them. See? You got to pay attention. You got to understand when you are at war, when there's a high level of hatred for you as a black man, as a black woman. They made it so bad that men and women now hate each other. They removed the man out the house. Now they replaced the man with another. Let me take that back. They removed the biological man from the house. But in order for a man to come into the house and be accepted and be embraced and being loved, he got to be a man with a wig on his head. And his name got to be from Tyrone to Taniqua. And Taniqua, she now have to play the submissive role. Yeah. Yeah. 
And while Tyrone is left, can't find a job, the whole world is against him. Women look at him like he's, he don't fit the criteria because he don't have a BMW. He don't got 400K in his account. Yeah. Yeah. This is what they have done. They have made us hate each other. What men desire from a woman is not what we're supposed to be desiring. The first thing a man should be desiring is, can I be with this person long term? Can this person bring me peace? It's not about appearance. We have to kill this appearance. It's not about the body. It's not about the physique. Those things, those are, those are lust of the eyes. That's not what's going to, I don't care for that. Long term, that person that, that don't fit the criteria of this world is going to be the one that's going to stand by your side when you're dying. They made you believe that the, the, in order to, your girl got to be bad. She got to be this. She got to be that. She got, uh-uh. No. You got to get out of that. And if women and if women hold themselves to those standards, you're silly rabbits. Europeans are for kids. Yes. Silly rabbit. The European mentality are for kids. And if, and if that becomes your M.O., or your foundation then you're gonna be doomed i'm telling our sisters now if you don't wake up and wise up and shape things up you're going to be a statistic a statistic i told my daughters i said listen you take drugs you you open yourself up and you give yourself up to a boyfriend and not a husband you will be a statistic. You will never get out the hood. You will be another product of Luciferian production. You will be a product of your environment. This is not what you want. You deserve better. To, to, if you deserve better, you must first do better. You must know that you're better. You're better than the average black woman. You're better than whatever these heathens tell you to be. You are better than that, my sister. You are better than that, my brother. The same thing falls for the men. If you give yourself up and you get into these women, you fall into these drugs and these alcohol, you're going to be another statistic. You will never recover and make it out. These people that's making it out, listen to me when I say this to you. The people that makes it out are the ones that sell their soul. And the people that try to make it out and get a better house and do this, you got to bust your ass. You got to work then some. I watched my mother struggle, grind. My moms didn't do nothing. But she was a product of her environment. My mom was an immigrant. Pops died when I was eight. She had to figure it out. Two children. So the sacrifices she has to do is the same thing that we're going to do. We should not be working this hard. Life has became hard because we are in this life journey alone. We was never meant to be in this journey alone. Adam had a helpmate. Eve was a helper. Abram had a wife. Um, I'm about to say Noah. No, listen, Noah had a wife. Shem had a wife. Japheth had a wife. All through the world, you will see that these people had a wife. The only time you started noticing that there was no mention of wives is in the New Testament, which begs me to say, hmm, I wonder why. But we uncovering, we, we debunking the whole Bible. Don't worry. The Father, our ancestors, is giving us revelations every day, every week, every month, every year. It's going to give us all the revelations until we are back to our prominent positions. And that's the kings and queens on this earth. But it starts with our women. It starts with you, ladies. Give a man a reason to protect you. Give a man a reason to love you and cherish you. And honor you, not because of your booty, but because of your 
wifely duties. Are you dumb or are you dumb? That goes for you too, man. Just create a space for where a woman can feel comfortable to relinquish her, her power. Because a lot of these women is, is scared. They scared to be heartbroken again. They scared to be disappointed again. They scared to be under, undermined and under, um, undervalued, depreciated. They don't want that. They've been there. I told my daughter that. I told my, I told my second oldest. I said, listen, you got to know your worth. And you can't just be thinking that it's okay to have a boyfriend. And then I told to this person, then I told to that person, no. Stop giving the stop giving boys titles. Because when you give somebody a title, you're you're telling him that he's entitled to certain things. Listen carefully to what I'm saying to you guys. A guy that you're talking to and a boyfriend is two different things. A man that you're getting to know and a boyfriend is a different thing. And you need to bring him to me because as a man that played the game and also doing the due diligence to fix it through his mistakes, I know I can look at a person and within three minutes of the conversation, sometimes based on how he's dressed, I can tell, no, he's not good for you. And a lot of time you women don't, don't, don't like to take that. You like to get burned to learn. And it's like, nah, you got to listen to your parents, man. That's one of the commands. That's one of the that's one of the orders by God Himself. Honor thy mother and thy father. You gotta listen. I'm never ever going to give you information that's gonna be detrimental to you ever. As a father, I want what's best for my daughter. I want what's best for my children. As a people, I want what's best for my nation. No, we don't know. We don't need that. But we fix that by understanding our worth, knowing our purpose, knowing our reasoning to be on this earth. Honey, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you was never meant to go through the struggles and the trials and tribulations of life by yourself. You need to find yourself a king. Cleave on to him. Hold on to him. Fellas, same goes for you. We have to kill this mentality that these heathens have placed upon us. They, it, it's a massive spell. We have to let go. We have to let go of everything that these people have given us. Everything. Religion, education, even their food, everything, everything. We have to turn it off and have a massive reset. We need a worldwide reset for us. Because if we don't, we're going to be destroyed. And I'll leave it as that, man. I hope I, I, I hope this one is a I hope this one is very informative and give you enough information for you to really understand. Like, yo, we are at war, man. And for the ladies that's gonna hear this and say, oh, you sound like this, but please th just think about your daughter. Think about how society is teaching our men to value women and how they're going to value your daughter. Think about that. Yes. Think about it. Think about that you may be 30 today and be 45 tomorrow. Don't be that. Don't be another statistic a 40, 50 year old woman on social media talking about I'm single and ready to mingle. Are you dumb? You is old and wise like crack Pringles. Are you dumb or are you dumb? And fellas, this goes for you too, man goes for you too when you see a woman coming outside wearing fufu you gotta be like nah mama what you doing is this body mine or is this for the community because if it's for the community then it's my due diligence to just walk away but if it's for me and you loving me i don't want to hear babe oh, you know it's cool it's nothing I'm, i should be you know i should have the right to dress how i want no i don't hear none of that your minds you're his you're supposed to respect that so you gotta check that young man and say, nah, I'm by my mind. You can't come outside like that. Your mind. 
I don't care if it's 2,000 degrees. If the Jewish woman not doing it, if the Arab woman not doing it, then you shouldn't be doing it because they the ones that's running this world. And guess what? I want my world back. You hear me? And as black people, the melanated of this earth, the soul of this earth, it's time for us to be on that mentality with the saying, I want or we want our world back. It's your brother, man, from the motherland, came to you guys live, continue supporting. For those that don't know who I am, man, like I said, I am Mr. Keep My Foot on you heathens, you heathens, and the newly installed heathen nice next. Are you dumb or are you dumb? Father, say one time for the one time. Are you dumb? <laughs> and I'm going to holler at y'all. One.